Here's what I got for y'all today. Extra, extra, read all that. China declares cryptocurrencies. At least the People's Bank of China, I should say. Which makes me wonder if it's a, if that stands for China in its entirety. Declare the virtual currency related business activities are legal financial activities. Got me thinking about the term crackdown, and it makes me wonder how many people in China are feeling the heat right now as their government or their people try to dictate or control the realm of this and that. Now I'm just wondering what it's, why they released such a statement in the first place. Was it because their Chinese leader feels it's a distraction from doing it the way of the pilgrims? Not that I know much about the pilgrims that led themselves to China for I don't live in their country even though at times it feels as if I do so do you all believe that they'll have much growth in China or do you believe crypto gives them much more growth potential if they would have not cast it out as being in its entirety a bad system? Alright, well, there's many companies based in there's many crypto companies I should say based in China that probably have to reallocate their uh, their servers or relocate I should say their servers to another country now assuming China lets them leave doesn't confiscate their equipment and all the uh, user accounts associated with all these uh, crypto businesses So I guess I wonder if they think it's hampering the safety of their people by endangering, maybe even potentially seriously, their fellow citizens that are simply selling crabs, fish, squid, octopus, and so forth. Do the market the people the market feel they're being stolen from if? is based on a crypto purchase that maybe didn't be termed or maybe wasn't being viewed as being all that much in terms of being offering or being an offerer because like hey I mined all this stuff I took the time out of my day to uh, to use a lot of energy probably in the process maybe wasteful but I took the day, time out of my day to set all this stuff up to prove I'm crafting this money that theoretically is non-existent because some investor puts tons of money into this and maybe he didn't want his five dollar bill transferred to Chinese yen is it? to buy some squid that the miner thinks is going to do this, but the investor thinks is going to do this. Now there's a conflict of interest to the point of where, where the president would just deem it as an energy waste, and or the leader, I should say, the leader of China, the leader of the banking system. But back to the point. I guess it's quite a foreign country from where. 
my little dot in this world is. So here it just seems like, wow, you're taking away the freedom of the cryptors. So they all migrate to America, or you're not going to let them leave? You're going to banish them to cells, banish them to uh, government entities that. Send all our poor brains plummeting to the ground, offering a sense of please forgive me for my activities. Well, that's be hard to get through, right? Especially if if the miner thought they were doing everything fine and great and on the spin of a news article notice they realize their life is entirely a lie now and they don't know how to build themselves back up it seems to be a difficult it seems to be a difficult situation to be in if your whole life was built around this crypto biz that maybe isn't adding that much to your life anymore because maybe you can't get to America to get citizenship and represent your freedoms as an American rather than Chinese. Anyways, that's all I got. Another video. For whom, whomever to see. Good day.